in today's video i'll be explaining to you guys the use of margin all right because i got a lot of questions about this somebody asks uh what is the what's the minimum or the maximum number of margin you can apply to a book jota or magazine or any of those sort um so the thing is i will explain to you this in two parts all right so you can understand the use and how to apply margin so margin uh margin in uh books or magazine doesn't uh, have a specific it doesn't have a specific number all right so if you want to apply your margin it depends on volume of the inner page all right if your inner page has more volume that is where that will determine the number of margin you have because if i give you a specific number that okay this is the specific number of margin you should be applying on your design like somebody a lot of people will ask you what is standard what's the what's the what is specific what is the main you know all those things don't it depends it all requires it all centers on the the the, the situation on ground in terms of the inner page of either your jota um magazine brochure book you can compare the volume of a 300 page um book to a 1000 page book the margin won't be the same all right so now i'm going to show you how to apply this margin so when you're applying the margin um please always make sure you you know understand and know the quantity of inner pages you are working with before applying any margin of your choice all right so now sometimes if um if i have a job that uh that has a volume of 300 pages 1000 pages i i make sure my margin is up to like eight inches all right eight inches so you have to just um know the volume and before applying anything so now guys i'll show you how to apply margin and i will show you guys in two different ways all right now i have the automatic and i have the manual the manual is which you will do yourself and the automatic the corner draw we just apply it for you in just a simple step all right so now if you have to apply margin for your design or for your book jota or anything before printing or before you start your design what you're going to do is you go to your uh, menu bar this is your menu bar over here if you are a beginner please pay attention to this right now if this is your menu bar i've explained all these bars in my previous beginners class the first beginners class i have on this channel and i explained every everything here i have explained it to you guys you can go and check out that video right now we are in beginners class part two all right so i want to explain to you guys how to make use of margin so in our next class i will still show you guys other things and i'll be bringing you other th other things which you that will be helpful to you guys in your design all right so now if you want to apply a margin to your design all you need to do is um let me just place this here so you can see all right so i'm gonna go to layouts on my menu bar so select page layout and under page layouts let's bring this over here now you're going to see general page size layout background grid line guideline grid ruler save and second timeline so over here you're going to come over to your guidelines all right so under guidelines you will see display horizontal vertical guides and preset so right now if you're using this correct the advanced correct draw from 2020 2021 2022 2023 this is basically what you're going to have so if you haven't below uh, i would advise you upgrade your current draw all right so if you need that you can dm me on instagram jim underscore junior one on instagram and make sure you follow me on instagram all right so now you will see um preset so come back to your preset all right if you come over to your preset you're going to come over to this you will see um you have color presets you will see um user i defined preset so under user defined preset you will see margin all right you will see margin 
all right so now you will see if okay i've set this before so i'm going to just um put it to zero zero which this is how it normally comes all right you will see this as zero zero so we have the top we have the left we have the bottom we have the right so always make sure is that it's at inches all right you can use anything pixels inch but normally it's an inches if you're designing a book cover or if you're designing a book layout or a magazine layout anything of your choice should be on inches all right now let's assume we're making use of eight uh eight uh inches of uh margin all right so just make sure it's on zero points eight don't just come here and put it put it to 0 0.8 let it be 0 0.8 up 0 0.8 down all right so anything you apply to this automatically apply to this you understand this is what you're going to have all right now if you do that let's click on preview and see what we're going to have as you can see guys it has applied itself over here all right so we can remove this corner and uh click on preview so this is what you're going to have all right so now let's click on um let's say we are making use of this um 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 all right so let's click on preview and see as you can see it has applied itself so normally i told you guys i make use of 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 all right depending on the volume of book or anything you're working with all right so this is how to apply this automatically in corridor all right so if you're done doing your settings you can click on ok and guys this is what you're going to have if you go to page two if you add page it will still be there as you can see and how to add pages in corridor is just you can see this plus sign over here just keep clicking it will be added pages for you and this is basically what you are going to have so you can see the grid line you can see the margin you can see the uh the margin for you so anything you're printing will be anything you're designing will be inside this box from here this is where your design comes in all right while after your print after you're done design and you print it out this is basically where uh the cutouts in terms of trimming that is why it's called margin all right to apply it uh, manually by yourself all right this is how to do that this is how i do it on um, some sides all right so let me delete all of this and uh if you have to apply it manually for yourself all you need to just come over to um um your rectangle tool and draw this way so once you do that make sure is your come out your, your property bar and your unit is on inches like i said then select this change this to zero point seven by zero point seven depending on the volume of your inner page like i said all right so now what you need to do is just first of all let me come over to this and um draw a box just right here and make sure it has the same um the same frame size all right it has the same frame size all right if you have a lower version you can just double click on this rectangle to come this way now if you select this this box all right holding your shift on your keyboard then select this um select the the frame you have here then press letter t to take it to the top then letter l to take it to the left that is alignment left and right alignment then you can just drag this ruler over here and bring another one here so your ruler is located on the top right on the on the top and the top uh, on also the left hand side close to your tools bar all right so if you select this word hold shift select this press letter b on your keyboard and this is what you're going to have to take it them down there and just bring in your ruler over here and uh select this hold shift press this select everything and um press letter r to take it to the right and bring in your ruler just right here and guys this is how to apply this you can delete this this is how to apply this manually in corner drop so if you want it as fast as you want you can just do the automatic 
and guys if you love this video please don't forget drop me a comment if you have any question um give this video a thumbs up please guys share this video and make sure you subscribe to this channel please guys subscribe so that we'll keep progressing all right and you have more and more and more content coming up and see you guys in my next video